Hey everybody, I hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day. I had a great time. Great day with my mom, and it was fun up until the Knicks decided to no-show a game four. And I am convinced, I'm starting to come up with a theory that OG Ananobi is the Knicks version of Aaron Judge, in which Aaron Judge last year doesn't play, and the Yankees just go to go to hell. Same thing with the Knicks and OG. But this is not a Knicks podcast. Gotta talk about the Yankees here for a second. And if you wanted an explosive offensive day from the Yankees... You got it in a big way. Ten runs, five home runs, one from Jones, his first home run of his major league career, two from Trevino, one from Aaron Judge, and we can now officially say Aaron Judge is back. And ten home runs on the year for Judge, and now I'm starting to think maybe, just maybe, if he keeps this up, there might be a, another face in the MVP race. It might be a 1961 situation between Soto and Judge. Maybe not for the home run chase, but for the MVP because it looks like these two are going to go back and forth all year if Judge continues to heat up the way he has. He's been amazing. And also credit to Glaber for hitting a home run as well and uh, really increasing his trade value there, which I really am really happy with there. Solid outing. I felt so bad for Luis Seal because he had such a great outing. Six innings, three hits, no runs, two walks, three strikeouts. And the bullpen just decided to crap all over it. Um... I'm not worried. Look, the bullpen has been great this year. I'm not. I'm gonna lay it easy on the bullpen, but you cannot. You cannot have a day like this where you give up six runs in three innings. You can't have that. Um, but fortunately, the offense was able to be dynamic enough that it didn't really matter. If you want to make the complaint that you know we talk about the Yankees, we don't want them to just be a home run or strikeout team. Um, the fact that eight of their runs today were scored by the home run, you know, today today it worked, but. Would, would like a couple more singles and doubles next time. The only other runs came off a Juan Soto a sack fly and a... No, I think that's actually it. One, two, three. Yeah, that's all of it. Wow, okay. Nine out of the ten runs. It was just the Juan Soto sack fly. That's rough there. But a great win for the Yankees. Again, great performance from Hill. Jones, Trevi, Judge is continuing to stand out. The offense was continues to be electrifying. I mean... We wanted that yesterday was kind of an issue. Saturday was an issue. Bouncing back in a big way on Sunday. And yes, the bullpen need to be better today. But how about this? The Yankees have won 10 of their first 13 series to start the season. I never would have thought that was going to happen heading into this year. Their run differential is plus 54. The only two teams with better run differentials are the Dodgers and the Phillies. Even better than the Orioles. They have the best run differential in the entire American League. So, great win. Great season to this team. Great start to this season, way better than anyone could have imagined. And after a disappointing Saturday, they bounced back in a big way Sunday. So very impressed with this team, very happy with this team's performance here, happy with everybody today getting hits, with the exception of Birdie. And you just hope that this momentum is able to carry forward here. We now get a nice day off. We get out of the trap, and now we continue onwards into Minnesota against a, a very good Twins team. So not going to be easy for us. And uh, I feel like Twins games are usually weird. Maybe I'm just thinking back to the 2019 game that we had against Minnesota here, but we're down on the mound on Tuesday. Let's hope we can use the day off for good, but I really feel like this Yankee team is in a good spot right now. I'm, I'm ready to jump off the ledge. I was teetering on the ledge on Saturday, back fully on board with this team, and especially with the fact that Judge looks like he is back. Soto and Judge working together in the lineup. That is magic, and I really feel like we can contend now. With the Orioles, we're only a half game out. We'll see if we can continue to keep pace with them all season long, but what a great start to this year. Credit to the Yankees, 10 out of their first 13 series. Job well done. That's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry again for the late video. I'll be back on Tuesday with Yankees Twins Game 1. Take care and God bless.